All right, time to write a song. Oh no, not again, not again. What? Nothing in my mind. How should I name this song? Not again. How do I even play things? Do you ever feel uninspired? Well, I do, sometimes. And that's why we're doing something different today. And I know what you're asking. Julian, you go outside sometimes. Well, only at night. But also when I'm in my studio and absolutely nothing is inspiring me. I like to go outside, because guess what? There's a whole world of inspiration out here. Problem is, every time I get outside, I start to get all these ideas but no way to record them. And at that point, there's really only two solutions. I can run back home to my studio, or I can use these stupid voice memos. But as of today, this might no longer be a problem because Ableton has just released Note. Note is their new mobile app for iPhones that allows you to record simple songs on your phone that later you can export to Big Boy Ableton. The important thing here is to remember that Node is not an app to fully make a song, right? Node is just kind of a sketch pad where you sketch your ideas and then later on finish them on Ableton Live. But I also like to use it as a sound recorder because I can take my phone anywhere, right? So I have a microphone anywhere and now I can finally put some cool sounds in there and use the environment to my favor. That was a clap. But before I start recording, I'm gonna lay down some simple drums here on their app just so I kind of have a feeling for what I'm going for, right? And a BPM as well, which is nice. Tonight is kind of a chilly night and I'm feeling kind of down, so I think I'm gonna do kind of a slow song with a melancholic vibe, right? So let's do these drums. Now that I got some cool drums in there, you might be wondering why am I in this reverby parking lot recording a video for YouTube? This is not good sound. Well, as I said, I like to use my environment. And I'm gonna use this awesome reverb to record some guitar chords and some other things as well. You gotta keep in mind that this is a sampler. It's not really made for looping or long takes. So I'm gonna record one chord at a time and then trigger them from a drum rack later. All right, so now I'm gonna record some little arpeggios to another drum rack, just so I can chop them up later in Ableton Live. All right, and now I'm gonna take the chance that I'm here and record some cool sounds in this reverb right here. And I'm gonna start with this. That did not sound like I expected to. Let me get some claps as well. That sounds cool, right? And what song doesn't need some haze, right? Hey! 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 This also comes with a note sampler that you can record one thing and it plays across the keyboard with different notes. I'm gonna try to record this and maybe find out the key later and do a cool keyboard. That's one high freaking note. And I always wanted to record a real piano, but I never had access to a real piano. But now that I'm just using my phone, I'm gonna go to a real piano. I'm also gonna take the chance that I have some time on the tube now, and I'm gonna do a little bit of arrangement here just to see if the things that I recorded worked out. All right, and in London we have these public pianos, and I'm gonna use this one, record one chord at each pad, because I can't play anyway, so it's kinda nice that I can play one chord at a time. And I'll see if I can use it later. Hopefully I can. I'm also gonna record a C note through a sampler. Yeah. That way I can play later. We got it. All right, now I'm done recording all my instruments and all the melodic stuff, so I'm gonna just record some ambience to see if I can do something cool with automation later. Let's try it out. Let's get some escalator sounds, right? I have no idea if this is gonna work, but who knows? One cool thing about this app is that you can actually try to automate things right here on the spot. Hey! And that way I can try to make that ambience a little bit more interesting and rhythmic for my song. 
all right, now I got all my samples, everything that I need. It's time to go back home and figure it out in Ableton Live. and we're back in the studio. I gotta be honest, it's been a day. Last night I came home and I worked hard on that song, made the demo a little bit more interesting, gave it a little mix, just made it sound less like a demo and more like a song, still a demo, but it's kind of an enjoyable demo to listen to, right? And that's exactly what you were listening to while you watched me on the train back home. So now you kind of have an idea of where the whole experiment went to. And well, I'm gonna show you everything that I've done here with all the things that I've recorded. But the first thing I wanna say is just some things that I like about Ableton Note and some things that I don't like so much. Well, the things that I like, I always have a sampler with me, which is nice. I always have a sound recorder, which is awesome. I always have a keyboard and I always have a drum machine. That is all awesome. And the best thing is if you come here in Ableton Live, now there's a new cloud section here and all your projects from Ableton Note just appear here in Ableton Live. So that's a step that I can kind of forget about now. I don't have to import things and export things. It's, it's already there. And you can just click here and open whatever you recorded on your phone directly in Ableton Live. And that's all awesome. And that's exactly what I've done here with the session. Of course, the session now is developed and way more complicated. It has vocals and everything. But in the beginning, it was just this little folder here. I open it up here and it's there. And the one thing that I didn't like is that this thing was made to be used outside, right? And it was also made to just automatically chop your samples when you record into it. So if you have like a snare hit or something, it kind of tries to chop at the beginning of that snare hit or the drum hit or whatever. But because you're outside and having fun, the places are not super quiet all the time. So it doesn't really know where to cut. And and to move this around here, you see, this was kind of fiddly. I wish there was a thing on it that even if you didn't know what the first transient was, it would still stick to the transients, you know, kind of a magnetic transient thing. That would be pretty cool. I'm, I'm sure they will fix this in the future because that's that seems like a pretty easy fix. But anyways, let's see where my song went. So this is the develop project. It all started out there in that parking lot, but here it is. The first cool thing is because you're working in Ableton the whole time, essentially, it all becomes drum racks and simplers and Ableton devices in the end. So the drums that I had in there, they were quite cool, but they were not exactly what I wanted. But because they were just a drum rack, I could just come here in Ableton and choose another preset. And that's what I did. I chose this Africa drum preset right here. And all the drums that I wrote outside still were there. I had maybe to shift a couple of notes up and down, MIDI notes, you know, but it was all still there. And that's kind of how it sounded in the end. I had the cart hits, which you guys saw me do out there in the street. I had the claps. I had the haze. Hey! All with the reverb of the actual parking lot, which is awesome. So just listen to how all the drums sound together. Thought it was pretty cool, but it was super easy to change your drum sounds and just go crazy here. And I also added some new percussion from my personal collection here at home. So some plugins, Borsta from Clef Grand, also Borsta, a lot of Borsta in there, which is funny to me because if you're Brazilian like me, you know what the word Borsta reminds you, right? Anyways, let's move on. So the acoustic guitar, here it is. I wasn't super happy with it because the recording didn't turn out that great because you know, the iPhone microphone is not that awesome. And the reverb was not that much in there, but because I had to do everything on my own, I couldn't place the phone farther away from me to get more reverb. So it kind of was too close. So there there was not a lot of reverb in my guitar, not as much as I wanted to, but this is how it sounded. I know what you might be thinking. There's actually some reverb in there. Well, that was a cool little trick that I did using one of my claps. So if I turn off this send here, There's a bit of the ambience from the parking lot in there, but not much, but if I turn this up, I 
a lot more reverb, right? And that's this right here, this hybrid reverb instance right here. And what is that? So this that you see down here is an impulse response that I dragged in there. And that impulse response was made from these claps right here. So I just recorded my claps from the parking lot as a WAV file, dragged them into this hybrid reverb here, and made an impulse response for my parking lot. That way I could have more of the parking lot in there, because I was so disappointed that the guitar was not as reverby as I wanted to. So I just used hybrid reverb as a way to enhance my parking lot reverb, using the actual parking lot reverb that I created using my claps. I'll, I'll make a video about how to create impulse responses for hybrid reverb soon. Don't worry about it, alright? You get it, you get it, and it's amazing. And I use this reverb on the whole track you see all of my returns here I only got this reverb from the parking lot so even my vocals the piano everything that I added reverb to it is the reverb that I recorded in the parking lot which is awesome that would never have happened without me going outside with Ableton Notes and trying it out so that's pretty cool you also remember the little staccato chords that I did there in the middle the little arpeggios that I did at some point that became something that I chopped up and I could play it so it sounds like a glitchy guitar almost so that's how this sounds I added a banjo loop, I added a bunch of things. Well, the piano now, there was a bit of drama with the piano, I'm not gonna lie. I recorded all the chords, right? But I messed up one of the chords. I, I recorded a major chord instead of a minor chord at some point, <laughs> just because there was so much happening around me at King's Cross Station, right? There was this train arriving from Paris, there was dudes all around me. So I, I got a little bit rushed and I messed up one of the chords. Luckily, remember, I recorded a single C note and I used that single C note to do the other chord that I missed. So this is an actual chord that I play there. You can actually hear the ambience, which is quite cool. And this is the fake chord that I made from the single note. You can actually hear a lot of the ambience right there as well. So it became kind of a wonky piano, really weird. I kind of like it, it sounds like this. And I added upright piano here, which is an Ableton preset, just to make it even more voluminous. I wanted to keep that texture from the original King's Cross piano, but I needed more piano and more notes. So I had to add like an extra plugin here. I thought that sounded quite cool. Also, remember that rail that I recorded? You know, the one that I just banged my keychain on it. It became a really cool little keyboard for the chorus. Just check it out. See, that device just became a sampler here and I could play it. On my push and make a pretty cool little keyboard. And that's basically it. I, I added vocals, of course, to it. I did a bunch of things. I did a bunch of mixing, but I just wanted to show you how Ableton Notes and Going Outside inspired me to do a really cool song. And I think I might develop it into a full song at some point. Do you think that I should? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a different video from what I do usually, but I hope it was useful to you. If it was, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and press all the buttons around me in this world that helped me. And I see you all next time. Bye.